Hi boys and girls. So as promised, I'm going to read Canadian Garbage Collectors. This is a good book for us to think about right now because it's Earth Week this week. And at this time of year and all the time, we should be thinking about what we're throwing away and what where it goes. It, when we say away, what's happening to that garbage? And what can we do so that we're throwing fewer things away? So let's read it. <clears throat> Our garbage truck rounds the corner. It stops and starts. The brakes screech. Sam, the garbage collector, runs back and forth, back and forth. Today he'll walk 24 kilometers and hardly go anywhere. The garbage is heavy and there's lots of it. In one year, every family throws out 200 big bags of garbage. Hey, Sam calls Mabel, the truck driver. I wonder where Mrs. Green is going in such a hurry. One of the biggest garbage cans in the world is inside the garbage truck. The garbage truck holds more than five tons of crushed garbage bags. All that garbage weighs as much as an African elephant. Sam tosses the bags into the hopper at the back of the garbage truck. You've probably seen this when they're working in where we live. The truck keeps moving. It will stop at 500 houses today. Hey Mabel, I think Mrs. Green has taken up jogging. Where's this Mrs. Green? There's hardly any garbage in front of Mark's house. That's because Mark's family follows the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. They use their bags and containers over and over again. That reduces their garbage. That means they have less to throw away. They complain to company presidents and store owners when there's too much cardboard, plastic, and paper packaging around food and toys. They use lunch boxes and thermoses instead, instead of bags and juice boxes. They buy at bulk food stores. That means they buy a bigger amount so that you get one big box instead of lots of little boxes. They use cloth bags instead of paper or plastic. They put newspapers, tins, and clear glass in the recycling box. They put leaves, vegetable peels, fl dead flowers, cut grass, eggshells, coffee grounds, and tea bags into their compost. And we have green waste here in Delta. And so you can um, put that in a special container at your curb, just like you do with your garbage, and they'll come and pick that up and take it away as well. A special truck picks up garbage that can be used again. That's the recycling. Newspapers go in one bin, clear glass goes in another bin. Um, tins go in another bin. Well, in ours, we put glass and tins in one. Some plastic containers and some papers cannot be recycled. Whoops, says the collector, throwing out a green plastic bottle. So where these people um, live in this story, you can't throw um, those in the recycling. But for us, we can. Garbage that can be recycled goes to factories where it is made into other things. Glass can be ground up and used to make roads. Old newspapers turned into cardboard or shingles for roofs. Tins are melted and made into new tins. Some garbage is too dangerous for regular pickup. It's taken to hazardous waste centers where experts make sure it's buried or reused safely. Some cities have trucks to pick up hazardous waste from homes. We don't have that. Hazardous waste should never be put out with regular garbage. Things like drain cleaners, oil paints, paint thinner, batteries, and polish for metal and furniture are all hazardous waste. And your family knows what to do with those things. Just as Sam is about to pull the lever, Mrs. Green catches up. She is panting and puffing. Stop, she gasps. Mrs. Green whispers something to Sam. Together, they rip open the bags in the hopper. There, nestled between the chicken bones and the tea bags, are Mrs. Green's false teeth. That's the person who was running in the other pictures. She lost her teeth in the garbage. Ooh. When Mabel's truck is full, she drives to the top level of a transfer station. Mabel pushes a lever and the garbage empties out of her truck. A bulldozer squishes the garbage and shoves it through a hole in the floor into the waiting tractor trailer that will take it to the landfill. So this is what happens in Delta too. So see how they're dumping it in and then it will go somewhere else. Most garbage is dumped into the hole in the ground at a landfill site. 
a bulldozer buries it. The garbage dump grows higher and higher until it becomes a garbage mountain. One day there will be no more space to bury garbage. In some places, garbage is burned in an open pit or an incinerator. Some people think that the smoke from burning garbage hurts plants and air and water. That's why it's good to try and reduce how much garbage we are producing. At apartment buildings, the garbage is stored in gigantic containers. A special garbage truck with metal arms picks up each container and empties it. Some garbage collectors um, collect trash in the park. Others collect litter off the streets and sidewalks. These are all important jobs. But garbage collectors sometimes can keep what they find, but they don't always just ask Sam and Mabel. They didn't want to keep those false teeth, did they? So this is an important job that they do, and it's important for us to help them do their job by producing as little garbage as we can. And you can always thank the people that you see collecting garbage. That's an important job that they're doing for us.